I think if we look at station, you know, we've kind of really spent uh, the past 10 years assembling space station. We build a tremendous facility in space. You know, we have probably uh, the most phenomenal research facility ever available in, in space to take advantage of microgravity, has a vacuum system, high rate data, video, all kinds of capability that, that any research lab in the, on the ground would be, would be proud to have. So our next challenge will be to take that same energy, that same zeal that we put into assembly and apply it to research and utilization. So we've done research all along as we were assembling, but we weren't able to focus and spend the quality time on the research activities that we will be able to now. It's nice we know we have a nice 10 year period uh, as Congress has given us some extension dates out to 2020, so we know we have a good period of time and it's up to us and the team to go utilize the research community that's out there and then make sure we get some really quality research on board Space Station. Well, the, the gee whiz thing is the, the zero gravity. Uh, having a long-term laboratory uh, with zero gravity is very unique and I think it's one that uh, I hope that we will reap the benefits from in the future uh, from a scientific perspective in a much more active way. We are the experiment. And initially when people hear me say that, they think that I'm talking about the crew members being guinea pigs for life sciences experiments. And certainly there's an element of that. We, we give a little blood and other things uh, in pursuit of that kind of research. But when I say we are the experiment, I'm talking about the entire team of uh, government agencies and the international partnership and all the contractor teams that support um, in the development of the ISS, the hardware, software, the integration, the testing, um, the assembly, and then the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, all of that is so significant in scope and magnitude and complexity. but the team has pulled it off. To that extent, I think that that is the great experiment of ISS. We don't just take the money and launch it into space. We aren't sending dollar bills or hundred dollar bills into space. We're actually investing the money. So all of the effort that goes into conceiving and designing and constructing and operating and launching a space vehicle requires a lot of thought and that thought actually produces things that are over and above what was the intention in the beginning. So the classic example is that because of the effort to get to the moon in the 60s, there was a lot of miniaturization and that miniaturization ended up spinning off into a lot of things for which we today can do things like talk on cell phones and take HD video with cameras that fit in your pocket and that sort of thing. So likewise, in the future, people will be reaping the benefits of the efforts that are underway today to go into low Earth orbit and to operate the ISS or someday go beyond there. And we don't know what they are today, but the one thing that I'm sure of is that something more than just spaceflight itself will come out of it. I think the more glorious part of space travel is the launch. And uh, so everybody thinks about space travel during a shuttle launch or a Soyuz launch. But the International Space Station is a little bit more unique because people are actually living and working up in space 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And what that means is that there's a myriad of people on the ground all over the world uh, making sure that every aspect of that spacecraft is working correctly and the crew on board is healthy and safe. The shuttle's been invaluable to allowing us to build station. The components that were delivered to space by the shuttle, there's no other way we could have really got those elements to, to orbit other than through the space shuttle. And also the space shuttle's been more than just a delivery of these elements. It's been our work platform. It brings its own uh, robotic arm to help with assembly. It brings its own airlock, which we used early on for the crews to, to go do spacewalks from. So, And it also brings a working crew. Uh, the seven crew members are, are, are there to help and assist in the assembly operation. So, so each assembly flight was unique in its own right. The shuttle not only brought the hardware, but it brought the workers, it brought the work platform to work off of, and it was, uh, it was the asset that made station possible. If it wasn't for shuttle, we could not have built this station that, that exists today. Space Station is the culminating engineering effort of 15 countries. Children 
should be able to look up and in simple awe and wonder that we have accomplished this engineering feat, that folks can float and do wonderful science and learn more about what we're doing on Earth as well as going farther. And the third thing I would say is it provides a goal, maybe an inspiration for the, for the children to be able to want to contribute to our future. Together we are building the future. To participate is much, much more than somebody who understands math and science. It is individuals that understand math and science. It's individuals that, that can communicate clearly, individuals that understand other languages and other cultures. And so kids should go to school. They should specialize in what they're good at and what they're interested in uh, with an understanding that that will apply. Their goals, hopefully, to participate in the exploration uh, of other planets in the future. Looking back on the contribution that the International Space Station made for, you know, civilization, when we have, you know, school children now in middle school, you know, and then building a colony and living there and having their kids there, and we say that this one step in low Earth orbit with the ISS was what got us there. You know, it was the springboard, it was the, the lifeboat, it was the piece that made it all happen. And that's what legacy is all about, building from one piece and then looking back and saying that's what got us to where we are now. And it's all about, you know, inspiring the next generation of explorers that will be those people walking on the Martian surface. We have built this with nations that have not always been friendly with each other. And together here, we've actually built this platform. Together here, we're building what's gonna happen next. And together, we are responsible for their future. And together is our future. 15 nations. One. International Space Station.